and understanding where this is coming from. It's coming from a place of hate. Andrea Segovia, the senior policy director with Transgender Education Network of Texas, says the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, or NAIA, is miseducated on its recent move to limit intercollegiate competition to contests based on biological sex. A lot of people don't understand how much time and effort has been given to educate um, folks that lead NAIA especially. The NAIA's newly approved participation policy takes effect this August and restricts participation in female sports to students whose biological sex at birth is female and any student who has not begun masculinization hormone therapy. An unnecessary move in Segovia's eyes, but Texas Values Director of Government Relations Mary Elizabeth Castle says this is a win for female athletics. The decision by the NAIA to protect female sports is not only the correct decision, but it'll be a game changer. Segovia says the NAIA's new policy steps on the identities of transgender student athletes. Trans athletes don't decide or pick to be trans, right? They are trans. Houston Tillotson University in Austin is one of 14 NAIA institutions located in the state of Texas. Students had mixed emotions about the NAIA's policy change. I think it could definitely have positive and negative effects on the, both sides. I don't think that's fair for them not to continue doing something that they have already worked hard to get. There's no outline punishment from the NAIA on if a team is caught in violation of this policy. But Castle says she thinks legal action should be involved. I would like to be able to see uh, women to also get some sort of legal relief. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.